Hi, this is Joe Vasquez, Managing Editor of New Tech Press, and I'm here today with Lou Covey, who is the CEO of Footwasher Media and Editorial Director of New Tech Press. And today, we're going to be talking a little bit about video. So, Lou, I noticed uh, there's been some changes going on, and I kind of wanted to sit down with you and just chat a little bit about what you've been up to. Uh, I noticed one of the biggest changes I noticed is that you've been doing a lot more video than text this year. Why is that? Yeah, well, text is still king in what we do because you know that's the basis of a lot of the content that's on uh, on the web. But video is becoming a growing component of web content for some time. Um, video is engaging. Now, while some people might skim through a document of a thousand words in a few seconds, uh, people will spend an extra minute or two consuming video on the net. That means you've got people sitting there in front of their screens. Ads can be popping up. Uh, they might want to get further involved. They'll be taking notes. That's engagement. That you're keeping their attention attention longer. And engagement is in web strategy is the name of the game. So why do you think more people aren't doing this? Well, for one thing, it's the cost. I mean, it's it's easy enough to to go out and grab a, a webcam and do something with uh, soda pop and Mentos. Uh, but when most people think about doing a web video, most corporate people, uh, they think broadcast quality. They, they want studios, they want special lighting, they want high-end cameras, stage crews, the works, okay? And then they find out that it's going to cost between $10,000 to $25,000 per minute to per finished video, and then they freak out over the cost, so they, they decide not to do it whatsoever. And when they, they do make that kind of engagement or that, that kind, of, kind of investment, they find themselves watching an infomercial that no one clicks on. So it kind of turns a lot of people off from the power of video. Sure, sure. And, and I come from a background of television, so those numbers are they're absolutely realistic, and I think you have to get some return for that. But you're not using any of that stuff for your videos. Why is that? Well, no, and for good reason. You don't need it. Okay, number one, most of the content consumed on the web is primarily through uh, mobile. Okay, and you're not going to get the kind of quality that you're going to get on your 50-inch LCD TV. Okay, uh, even if you're doing it in high definition. Okay, but all you really need to do is get a high definition camera, which costs maybe 200 bucks, and then, and, or maybe a decent webcam like we're using right here, uh, which costs maybe 200 bucks. Uh, and then you just need a, a, basically a, a well lit area. You don't need a studio. Uh, you just need to have some ideas about how you should do lighting, and that's it. That's all the the equipment you really need to make decent web uh, web based videos. So it's, I mean, it sounds like what you're saying with the, with the price of technology and where the technology is now that anyone can do this. Yeah, absolutely. It doesn't take much. However, there are certain limitations to vi to web video. In, in general. Video on the web is passively engaging. Now, yes, you get somebody who's sitting there and looking at your, your video for two to three minutes. Uh, if it's really good, they'll go up to five to ten minutes. Uh, but while the, they watch the video, they can see captions and maybe some additional information that you might put into it. And sometimes a button might pop up that you can click on it if, you, if you're quick enough to do it and if you actually want to. But for the most part, the video producer has to hope that the viewer is going to be taking time to take notes on this video uh, during the video or actually go, pulling up a web browser and typing in things. It takes a lot of work to, uh, for a viewer to actually consume this. And in the web, if, you ma if you're making your audience work, they're not going to do it. So you might engage on one level, but the viewer doesn't go any deeper, okay, as they would for... Uh, say uh, a text video they can, they can click on. Text is now, pretty simple. You just click on it, right? But yeah. we can't do that. You can't do that in video yet, or you can to a certain degree. But um, the the issue really here is the content quality. Okay, if a viewer goes all the way through the video, you've caught his attention. But most people, but to, you need to keep them involved, which most videos don't allow people to do that. And most people aren't good enough to make the good quality. So what are you advising people when you're talking about content? And, and I, I'm assuming some of these criteria actually works for text and video in terms of what is good content. Yeah. Um, 
most of the content that corporations put up on the on the web, whether it's video or text or whatever, is essentially regurgitating the marketing content that they're passing out at trade shows that are putting up in, in press releases. People can get that stuff anywhere. The content that you put up, the, 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 the text or video, has to be substantially different from what it is you're putting out as far as marketing content. If, if it's an infomercial, people you know, people don't watch those on television either, except for the people who are shopaholics on Late TV. Night. <laughs> but you have to be concerned with the quality of the content you're putting up there, which means you have to have somebody who knows what to do with, with the content. And that's one of the things I like about video is that it can be more engaging. You can actually get the personality of the person that is putting the content up there. It's a little bit more um, uh, loosey-goosey, which makes people more comfortable when they're watching. And the thing is, the technology of web video, video is advancing you know, almost every day. I mean, Ustream and Vpipe make it possible for live video uh, to, and to have conversations with the audience while you're doing the video. Uh, so that allows for deeper engagement. If you, you got people asking questions that you're not not ex expecting, yeah, it's a little bit more on the fly. And yes, you can make mistakes, but people will stay there. And if you make mistakes, they'll like it. I, I think that actually makes it a little more human. Right? It's, yeah. It's real people. Yeah. But again, you have that problem is that you can do that with live video, but what do you do after? Now, it's possible, well, like with Ustream, you can archive the video and you can have people a asking questions and you can keep monitoring that and you can respond back to them. Uh, but then again, you have this problem that you have to be willing to put that effort into it. You have to have communicators w ready to do it. Um, and that's kind of where I got excited about this uh, technology we're using today from MeBox Media. We're using MeBox in this video today. So tell me a little bit about that. Okay. MeBox allows you to embed links to additional sites, to additional content, to other videos timed with the video. Okay? And it's accessible throughout the video. Like I, I mentioned that with, with YouTube, you can have a, uh, you can embed a, a link that people can click on, on that button, but it lasts for a certain amount of time. And if you don't catch them on that point, it's passed. With MeBox, with this uh, bar on, on the right hand side, you can put the, the links into that and you can time them to appear at specific times within the video. Okay, So you get this ongoing engagement that say people may be getting a little bit bored at this particular time, but then something something pops up. Oh, there's something there's something there. You click on that. You bring up a, a document that's talking about what you're doing or click to another article or video. And it's, it's engaging for the people and it keeps them there longer and it also takes them even deeper in, into the into the content. Is this available anywhere else? You, know, not mean, that you, I've, you mentioned YouTube and a few other places. Are, I mean, is, there, is it available anywhere else? Yeah, well, YouTube, like I said, has this premium service that allows you to embed links, but it isn't timed and, and the, the links will actually take you away from the video page. So would you consider that competition? Yes and no. Uh, I mean, you can upload your video directly to MeBox, but it isn't a permanent solution because there are storage limitations. You know, the more videos you get up there, the more you have to have to pay. Um, you have a, a monthly rate for for the certain number of videos. However, you can use YouTube based based videos, and then you avoid the, the storage limitations. You can put your videos on YouTube and create the link directly to the MeBox, which is what we're doing today. Uh, so MediaBox can be considered an enhancement of the YouTube service, and it's pretty damn affordable. So, what's we talked about all the positive? What's the one major? Is there anything a downside to using video? Well, that's what we mentioned earlier. Is it's the, the downside is the quality of your content. Uh, if you produce infomercials that are no more than reading your marketing material, no one's going to continue watching your videos if they watch them watch them at all. Uh, because if they want that stuff, they can get that from your website or they can visit, visit you at a trade show. And they um, could probably do that much quicker by hitting a data sheet or FAQs or something on your website and just read it as quick as they want. They don't need to sit there for five minutes on a video. Right. V video is, is not an answer in itself because the content is always more important and you have to know how to produce content, which is why we can stay in business because most people don't know how. 
So if somebody hears this and they're thinking about it and they want to get into video or maybe they don't have ideas on, you know, what would be the best content, how do they get in touch with you? Uh, they can go to our website at uh, fortwashermedia.com. Uh, they can go to the newtechpress.net site. Uh, or they can find me, pr find us pretty much anywhere on uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, Ustream, whatever. We're all over the net. Or you could probably click the link on the side of this video because we're using MeBox. Oh, It'll yeah, take no. you right where you need to go. Yeah, th that's another good point. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, thanks for your time, Lou. It's been an interesting conversation. Uh, I like the changes you're doing, and we'll see where this goes. All right. Thanks, Joe. Thanks.